Welcome fam, friends, new friends, Tasha, Mama Bear Prepping. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're brand new to the channel. Um, we are just going to jump into a little chill mode, right? So I've been going, going, going all day. Just poured me a little, little drink, just a little whiskey. And we're going to get into super easy um, recipes for pickling eggs. So I don't know if you're a fan of pickled eggs. A lot of people, I feel like, give the pickled egg a bad um, rap just because maybe it's because it's part of bad bar food. Maybe you went to your grandma's house or somebody's house and they gave you pickled egg and it was disgusting. I don't know. Now, there's a lot of really common recipes that you can get for pickled eggs, but I'm about to turn it up a little bit today, and I'm about to walk you through my three recipes for pickled eggs. And I hope you enjoy yourself. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Tasha here. So we are going to just do three super easy recipes for pickling eggs today. And I'm excited because not, this is kind of like spam. Like a lot of people, at least a lot of people that I've met aren't really fond of pickled eggs, but I personally think they're delicious. Um, I'm not sure why they get such a bad rap, but I love them. I have three recipes that I want to try today and I'm going to walk you through it and then we're going to get them in the fridge and then I'll probably come back and do another video um, in about a month to show you guys. I'm going to test taste them and show you guys how they came out. So that's the part that I'm excited about. But for the meantime, we actually got to pickle the eggs. Okay. So for today, let's just go over what we need. So in the description box below, I have listed um, all the stuff that you need for each recipe. Okay. So like I said, we're doing three. We're doing a garlic dilled egg. We're doing a pepper and pineapple pickled egg, and we're doing a soy sauce pickled egg. Mmm, right? Not your regular pickled egg recipes. So we're going to do these three recipes. Um, I'm going to walk you through them, but first let's go over what you need. So each quart size jar, we have three for today, one recipe for each. Um, about 12 eggs will fit in each of these quart size jars. Outside of having the jars themselves, you're gonna need the ingredients, which I'll list in the description box below. You're gonna need your eggs and everything that's just gonna go into your recipe. And this is very versatile. You can do a lot um, of, you know, basically as long as you have the basic brine done so that the, the so that it will ferment and it will actually do what it's supposed to do. As long as you have that baseline of your brine done, when it comes to all the extras that go in for flavoring the pickled eggs, you really can do sky's the limit and put a lot of stuff in there. Additionally, you might need a funnel. You really don't. These are wide mouth jars. They're, we're not canning, you know. Um, I'm not so worried about fat on the jar and all that stuff. So not necessary, but if you just like to be a little bit cleaner with your process, then maybe this. Also something to just scoop. Um, I have three separate pans for my brine um, because I'm doing three separate things. Ideally, if you're doing the same thing, you could do a big batch of brine all together in one pan that I'm gonna be doing separate. And I like to have something actually scoop it out to um, when I'm pouring it into my jar. For some reason, when I try to do with a pan, I make a big old mess, okay? And then something to measure. Now today, I won't need these because I've already measured everything out for you, um, but you'll need these if you're doing your own recipe so you can measure out your stuff. All right, so I'm gonna get started on my eggs. I'm going to boil my eggs. I'm gonna peel them. We'll talk about peeling eggs and the easiest way that I've found to peel eggs without tearing them up. And then I'll bring you back and we'll get into each jar and each recipe and get these going. All right, guys, see you in a few. All right, you guys, welcome back. Okay, so we are gonna get into this. I have my eggs nice and peeled in front of us. Um, I did do pretty good. I did lose some, um, but let's talk about boiled eggs. So uh, the easiest trick that I have found for boiling my eggs to be able to make them the easiest for peeling is I boil them and I put salt in the water as I'm boiling them. And then when they're done, I take them out and I immediately put them in the sink and I pour cold water on them and then I let them sit. I probably let them sit for like 15, 20 minutes. Once they've sat, then I peel them. 
And the trick is, is I peel them under the water. So in that same water they've been sitting in, I try to crack them up and peel them under the water and the majority turn out phenomenal. I mean, it comes off and it comes off quick and in a big piece of the shell at a time instead of that itty bitty poke at it type. So try it out, see if it works for you. Okay, got our eggs, got our jars, got our ingredients and I have um, off to the side here, you can't see, but I have three separate broths. So what I do, like I mentioned before, is I do my broths on the side and if I'm doing any kind of variation, I do them in individual pans and that's what I did here, okay? So first things first, we're gonna do the garlic dilled egg. So garlic dilled egg, I like to put the ingredients in first, the um, raw ingredients. So it takes, um, the brine is almost the same for all of them. It's um, one and a half cups of vinegar, a cup of water, and then any liquid that is part of the recipe, I put in the pan. And then I also put any salt and sugar that the recipe calls for into the pan to um, make my brine, okay? So the brine is super important and it's super important that you can do different variations, but make sure that you have enough vinegar in there so that it actually pickles the eggs because that's the process that we want to achieve today. So for this recipe, it called for one and a half cup of vinegar, a cup of water, fresh dill, which I have here in the cup, um, two tablespoons of pickling mix. That's just a, that's just a mix that I picked up. And just real quick for you guys, this one has mustard seed, black peppercorns, dill seed, cardamom, cassia, ginger, coriander, allspice, chili pepper, cloves, and bay leaves. So just a simple mix um, with my extra fresh dill, two garlic cloves as well, fresh, um, and then it called for salt, which I put in the brine, okay? So I actually put all this stuff um, any of the dry ingredients. Now you can put them in your brine as well and cook them in your brine. It really doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna take this brine here for this one. Oh, no, I'm not gonna take the brine. I'm gonna put the eggs in. Okay, so then once I put my ingredients at the bottom, um, then I put my eggs in. Let's get this little bit of dill. Okay, let's see how many eggs we can fit in here. I have some ugly ones that I wanna try to hide if I can. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna try nine each, okay? Because I did lose some eggs and I want there to be space in the brine. Okay, so moving on to this brine. Remember for this brine, it's just some um, vinegar, mostly vinegar, water, and then the um, salt that is required is in here. Now, with pickling eggs, the biggest thing to remember is that your um, liquid has to go above the eggs. It has to cover the eggs, okay? Sometimes you'll have eggs that try to kind of float, and so you'll just um, place them kind of under the lip and just make sure that you have enough. And this isn't canning, so there's no, there's no measurement as far as um, the lip, you know, um, head space or anything like that, okay? So this one is done, you guys. It's super hot. I don't know if you guys can see that, though. You see that at the bottom, how beautiful that looks? Ooh, super hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cap it, you guys. We're gonna put our lid on. We're just gonna lid it and we're gonna set it to the side. So that one's done. I'll make sure you guys get a picture of all of them. Okay, so next one is our pepper and pineapple pickled egg. I've never done this one before, and I'm super excited. So the brine was a half, one and a half cup of vinegar, a cup of water, um, and then peppercini like peppers, right? And then a fourth a cup of sugar, um, 12 ounces of pineapple juice and a teaspoon of salt. So the salt, sugar, pineapple juice, basically everything went into the brine on the stove when I boiled it. So the only thing that is a leftover ingredient to put in the jar is the peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the peppers in the bottom of the jar. So I put those in and then I'm gonna put some eggs in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do 10 on that one. How many is left? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna do one more. So that last jar. Okay, and then we're gonna do the brine. So this is the pineapple one. Where's my cup? So I'm getting this brine out of a different pan, and you're gonna see, you see how the brine is more yellow? That's because this brine has pineapple juice um, in it. Ooh, it smells good. It smells delicious. And again, you're gonna make sure they're, they're covered. And I just wanna move, whew, it's hot. I'm trying to just move them. So I'm just gonna have to put a little bit more brine because those ones just wanna poke, okay? Ooh, it smells delicious, you guys. This one smells good. I can smell the pineapple, but I smell a little bit of the sweet of the pepper that we put in there. So this is super hot, but I'm just gonna try to show you. So it's not super pretty, you know, because this is basically all in the brine and then there's some peppers in there in the bottom. Okay, next, so we're gonna do a soy sauce pickled egg. So the brine has a one and a half cups of vinegar, a cup of water. Um, I put a little bit of chili sauce, just the chili sauce that you buy in the store that um, you might use for lumpia or whatever. I put um, a tablespoon of that in the brine. I put two tablespoons of sugar. I put a third a cup of soy sauce. Um, I put a teaspoon of salt. And then um, it calls for green, like chived onions, scallions. Okay, so that's our dry ingredient. We're gonna put that in the bottom. Everything else is in the brine, right? Okay, dry ingredients, let's put our eggs in. This one's gonna be the fullest. Oh, maybe not. I guess the last one was. Okay, and then we're gonna get our brine. And this brine has like the soy sauce. It has the chili sauce. So you're gonna see a little bit of the chili flakes in there. That's from the brine. Okay, again, as we get to the top, we need to make sure that the eggs are totally covered. And when they stay in the fridge, you, same thing. You need to make sure that they stay totally covered. That one wants to pop up. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, so I just put that one down, but um, because it's pretty full. And then I'm gonna get the lid. Okay, and this one, you see all the this one's actually really pretty. I can see all the pepper and the onions in there. Okay, so that's what we got, you guys. Three pickled eggs. I'm a little bummed out right now because, um, let me show you these three, because I can't taste them yet, and I wanna taste them. Okay, so you got a dilled, a dilled garlic, right? Just some basic, some basic pickling flavors in it. And then we've got more of a Asian, you know, soy sauce, chili sauce type recipe. And then we've got a funky one that's like peppers and pineapple. My take on like maybe a sweet and sour-ish. Um, I'm hoping that they kind of fight each other and that it's really delicious. And I can't wait. So what I'll do is I'll end up um, letting these sit for a little bit on the counter here. Then I'll wipe letting them cool down a little bit. Then I'll wipe them down, make sure that they're nice and clean on the outside. And then I'll put them in the refrigerator. Now the refrigerator, these are good size eggs. So we're gonna let this sit for two to four weeks. I'm, I'm not going in anywhere before three weeks, okay? Maybe three weeks, if I really can't help it, I'll go in and do it, but I really want the pickling taste to be there because that's what makes a pickled egg pickled egg, okay? And then once you've done that, these are good for three to four months, you guys. So again, it's kind of short term, but it's kind of long term. So um, it's another way that you can do a little delicious protein snack, you put in your fridge and short term do eggs. I do know some folks who do eggs, um, like a fermenting type um, situation on the uh, shelves. I'm not sure if I'm down with that, um, but I love doing this semi long storage um, option in our fridge. Okay, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in about a month when we get, well, when I get to taste these and I'll give you an honest opinion about how these turned out, but I'm super excited. I'll see you then, take care.